Jessica Thorne, part one. Jessica Thorne lived all alone. Her life was tidy. Her garden was neat. Her house was the quietest house on the street. Every morning, Jessica Thorne went shopping. She bought bread on Mondays, butter on Tuesdays, grapes on Wednesdays, peaches on Thursdays, apples on Fridays, bananas on Sundays. And on Sundays, she brought an ice cream. Part two. On Monday morning, Jessica John went shopping. I'd like some bread, soft and white, said Jessica John. No bread today, said the shopkeeper. But I've something else that's soft and white. Jessica John took it home. The puppy sniffled and snuffled and scrambled and shuffled. On Tuesday morning, Jessica John went shopping. I'd like some butter, yellow and sweet, said Jessica John. No butter today, said the shopkeeper. But I've something yellow with a song that's sweet. Jessica John took it home. The canary fluttered and fluttered and chirped and cheeped. On Wednesday morning, Jessica John went shopping. I like some grapes, green and small, said Jessica John. No grapes today. Said the shopkeeper, but I've something else that's green and small. Jessica John took it home. The frog hippily hopped and quickly croaked. On Thursday morning, Jessica John went shopping. I'd like a peach, furry and fat. Said Jessica John. No peaches today, said the shopkeeper, but I've something else that's furry and fat. Jessica John took it home. The kitten yelled and prowled and purred and meowed. On Friday morning, Jessica John went shopping. I'd like an apple, rosy and round, said Jessica John. No apples today, said the shopkeeper. But I've something else that's rosy and round. Jessica John took it home. The pig rattled and wallowed and squealed and squeaked. On Saturday morning, Jessica John went shopping. I'd like a banana, curry and smooth, said Jessica John. No bananas today, said the shopkeeper. But I've something else that's curry and smooth. Jessica John took it home. The snake wriggled and wriggled and hissed and sssst. On Sunday morning, Jessica John went shopping. I would love an ice cream, an enormous ice cream, said Jessica John. Just one small ice cream left, said the shopkeeper. But I've something else that's enormous for you. Jessica John took it home. The elephant trumped and stomped and clumped and thumped. Part three. Jessica John sat in her home. Her puffy snuffled. Her canary cheeped. Her frog croaked. Her cat yowled. Her pig squealed, her snake hissed, and her elephant trumped. Now Jessica John did not live all alone. Her life was not tidy, her garden was not neat, and her house was 
the noisiest house on the street. The end. Um, goodbye, balloon. Have a nice trip. Just where do you think that balloon is going, Matthew?